the wider the ski, the better, right? Well, only if you're lucky enough to be skiing the finest bottomless Alaskan or Japanese powder. And sadly, most of us aren't even coming close to skiing in these conditions. So choosing the right width of ski based on your ski style and where you ski takes a little more finesse. Sticking to skinny piece skis can leave you floundering in the first hint of freshies and cruising the groomers on your powder skis will leave you side slipping and skinning top to bottom. An avid skier will have a whole quiver of whips and styles to suit any condition. If you're going to be limited to just one single pair then you'll be best trying to find something right in the middle ground. Not too fat and not too skinny. Just that Goldilocks ski so to speak. Looking at the numbers, it's the waist width in millimetres that is often the headline of the ski categories and what many of us will refer to on their hunt for a new pair of skis. We've broken down these widths into some very rough categories to help you understand what you might be looking for in each. So when you're looking for a piece ski, it'll be in the region of 65 to 80 millimetres. This waist width correlates to the optimum transfer of force feeling and grip from your foot to the snow. With this dimension you're able to stand directly on top of the edge as it bites into the snow. Nothing really comes close to this feeling of power but the payoff is the challenge that it comes with any fresh snow. Looking at the all mountain ski category, this is something that you can ski on and off the piece and it might be something between 80 to 100 millimetres. This waist whip balances edge grip with the added float for softer snow. Often a ski in this category will be the optimum ski for a lot of people. Then looking at free ride skis for a resort and some backcountry missions. This waist width could be in the region of around 95 and 115 millimetres. Above 115 millimetres, you're looking at soft snow or powder specific skis. Skinnier free ride skis still offer high performance on hard snow along with float in the deep stuff. But you won't be able to transfer the same amount of grip and power as you would on say a sub 80 millimetre piste focus ski and that's because your foot will not be sitting over the edge to directly transfer the power straight to the edge. These skis are frequently known as all mountain free ride skis in modern day standards. In fact some of my favourite all mounted shapes come in at around 105 millimetres underfoot. Now it's got to be said that this waist width category is a very rough way to categorize skis and will split opinion based on your personal style and the region that you're actually skiing. For example, Europe where the snowfall is often lower than say North America, a 110 millimeter powder ski will be considered fairly fat. Whereas in North America there's a tendency to ski 110 waist width every day and save the 125 millimeter weighted powder boards for the big powder days. For a lot of us looking for a ski with a little bit of everything then an all mountain ski in the region of 80 to 100 millimeters underfoot will tick all the boxes and provide plenty of grip on most groomers while only being undergunned on the deepest of powder days. And there you go, that's just about everything there is to know about ski whips. If you do have any questions then pop a comment below and I'll try to answer it as soon as possible for you. And if you're ready to grab yourself a pair of skis, then head over to our friends at Surf Dome and check out their full range of skis. I'll pop a link down below. See ya.